so let's work on the gradient page here so if i come again i will close all unnecessary files here plus the navbar and we will open the, the gradient file here in the html we will write it here what we are going to use the, to show the gradient header here is we can use the bootstrap jambotron if you have ever used this this is a very nice way of putting something in the header and then you can just give it a background and we can customize it so i will just use this one the example they shown here so i can just copy the code and paste it here for now if i save it let's see how it is going to look in our application looks good right so it is fine here but i can come and just customize it and give it just a text should be center and it should show the text in the center of the page plus we can just give them a little height for now the height is not important and it is just fine as you can see it will just take the whole page and it is it looks pretty fine for the box shadow i we will add the same thing so i will just copy it here and we will go to the shadow for now just we will paste it here it should not do anything for us yet i will just close the shadow one and we will work on in the gradient in the next few video to make it up so as you can see it looks just fine the gradient and we can just start customizing it so first of all we should add two inputs here so that we can just change the color or things like that so again i will change the title to css3 gradient generator so i'll come here to the browser as you can see the title has changed and plus you can just put some more description here but after the description we need our inputs here so i'll come here as you can see here is the information and then we have our hr above the hr i will write the description i will just write the jambotron content class here we might not have this jambotron content uh, class in the bootstrap but i will just customize it later in the video so we will put it here and we will just write our form here of course in bootstrap you can write the form group to give it a little bit of styling for the first one we will just write an input with the form control class here and the type is going to be color for now so that we can select a color it must have a name of let's say color one or color two for the second one this is fine for this one and i will just duplicate the same thing here and the second one should be color two and the type should be color the same way so i'll save it for now and if i come here and we should see our color picker here this does not look good of course we will customize it more we can use the bootstrap to customize it so if we come to bootstrap going to the grid system here you can use the grid system to display them both side by side and in the center of the page so of course the bootstrap boost is going to use the flex box and it is very easy to customize file and put them on the center so we will use this one the container we do not have we will add the container of course so we'll take these lines of code here and we'll use it here we have the jimbo from content and we will put it here as you can see we put the container here it should be close here first one we have our row it will finish here and we have other files here so if this time if i come here as you can see they will display here side by side so we have three of them i will just remove this the the middle one and put the files here it, it will be in the a column which is row and justify content will be in the center if you don't know about wordstrap so you can watch a few videos on youtube which is very basic of course 
it has a column and the column in the largest and the largest screen it will take two of uh, the other one two it will take and two the other one so I will just remove this one we'll use this one put it here as well as this one to here and we will just remove it for now it is just fine if I refresh the page as you can see the color will be shown here of course we are not going to use this one and it looks fine if I select the color for now it should pick the color here and then we can use that as a background here so that is what we are going to do in the next video